Kim Jong-un's sister warns the U.S. to scrap future military exercises with South Korea if it wants a good night's sleep for the next four years. Here's a summary of the article. Kim Jong-un's sister has warned the U.S. to scrap future military exercises with South Korea if it wants a good night's sleep for the next four years. Kim Yo-jong issued a statement on Tuesday marking North Korea's first comments towards Joe Biden's administration. It comes as U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin arrived in Asia to talk to allies Japan and South Korea about North Korea and other regional issues. Pyongyang would consider abandoning a 2018 bilateral agreement on reducing military tensions and abolish a decades-old ruling party unit tasked to handle inter-Korean relations if it no longer had to cooperate with Seoul, said Kim Yo-jong, who handles inter-Korean affairs for the North. She said it would also consider scrapping an office that handled South Korean tours to the North's scenic Diamond Mountain, which Seoul suspended in 2008 after a North Korean guard fatally shot a South Korean tourist. The South Korean and U.S. militaries began annual military exercises last week that will continue until Thursday. Bu Sung Chan, a spokesperson from South Korea's Defense Ministry, said the combined drills were defensive in nature and called for the North to show a more flexible attitude that would be constructive to stabilizing peace on the Korean peninsula. This post received a score of 12,000, with an up-vote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Oh no. Anyways. That pretty much sums it up. This sounds like a threat my mom would make if we didn't eat our veggies. I can't sleep anyways. If you can, tell it to Kim Young Un's sister. She should know the futility of her missiles. Rolling on the floor laughing tears of joy. No, tell her you have veggies and watch her cry. No way, I saw a fat kid. Yep, her brother. She's going to put itching powder in your beds. Why does she look like a villain from a 2000s James Bond film? Simultaneously scowling and smirking. That's pure villain stuff. To be honest, she kinda looks like Martin Shrelly with that smirk. Holy shit she does. Law. Sure Jan. Joke's on her. I didn't get a good night's sleep the past four years so I'm a professional at not sleeping now. You get paid for not sleeping. In a way yay, being a short sleeper is amazing for productivity though not sure how my long-term health is going to like me. Neurodegenerative diseases at 60 instead of 70, perhaps. More like 50 instead of 60 but yeah. She looks like she's about to raise the price of insulin by 700%. That was HIV, AIDS medication, the insulin price raise was another psycho. Was insulin even just another psycho? I see references to 700% being the price increase from 1921 to 2016 for essentially the same product, even adjusted for inflation, and that pharmaceuticals justify this by marketing them as improved insulin when it's just insulin. You know, a scam for medicine in the United States, legally. So, complete scumbag horsecockery, but standard pharmaceutical company, not a specific psycho, right? As far as I know, it's not just insulin. The formula has changed. Yes, changed. I didn't use, improved, for a reason. Merely changing anything means they can patent it again even if the change does nothing. I'm sorry the United States only accepts North Korean threats from the Supreme Leader, so be a dear and put your brother on the phone. Oh he's not there. Oh, well call us back when he's available. Yeah THX. Okay bye. We can take a message he's on the shitter. He actually does not poop. That's the joke they give themselves away trying to save themselves LMAO. So where is Kim Jong-un these days? When corona hit we had reports saying anything that he was just hiding. To him being sick and all the way to him being dead. After that I've only seen. Heard his sister. So what happened to him? Is he dead? He is gone. All pictures of him are actually the sister in a fat suit. I quite enjoy this theory. We discussed today that the Kennedy curse was really Rosemary Kennedy taking revenge on the rest of the family for the attempted lobotomy. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.